Democrats to be removed from office. And you announced on Wednesday uh, that you'll be filing articles of, of impeachment against President-elect Joe Biden. Tell us about that. Yes, it's time to fight back. Republicans have had enough. It's like we've been the abused spouse in some sort of uh, twisted up marriage for, for too long now. Uh, what they did this past week to impeachment on President Trump for crimes that they never proved, there was no trial, there was no evidence. They just decided to, to pour salt in the wounds of the American people, 75 million people who voted for him, was crossing the line way too far. But the reality is the man that they put up and ran for president, uh, Joe Biden, that will be inaugurated on the 20th, coming up next week, has actually committed crimes himself. He's abused the power of the vice president's office, and we have to hold him accountable for that. Republicans are tired of our leaders not doing anything to push back on Democrats and so I'm happy to announce that I'm introducing articles of impeachment on January 21st. So have you spoken to your colleagues about this? What's been their reaction? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm in talks with, with quite a few of my colleagues, and that'll be a process that we're working up. Um, so I'm excited. The, the support is overwhelming. Since I announced last night, my phone has not stopped ringing. Messages have not stopped coming in. People all over the country want this to happen. They're fed up with the corruption. They're tired of career politicians abusing their position, abusing their power, and watching fam their families just get rich over it. Joe Biden used the office of the vice presidency to, to basically dangle out taxpayer dollars in the form of foreign aid in order to wield and yield deals for his son, Hunter Biden. Um, and then there's the investigation going into Hunter Biden's laptop that is very, very serious, especially when we're considering communist Chinese energy companies and deals being made between Hunter Biden, James Biden and Joe Biden. And this is this is a dangerous thing for America. We cannot have a president who's willing to do anything he can just to help his family make money. I, I want to switch gears just a little bit here. One thing our viewers uh, have been asking about, and it's really been swept under the rug uh, with recent news over the past week, is the voting machines. And we're looking still at several states where uh, there hasn't been a whole lot of investigation. Can you tell us the latest uh, of, of what you know in terms of what's happening in Georgia to uh, do a forensic analysis of these voting machines? Yes. You know, I objected on January 6th, and I'm very proud I did that. I condemned the violence that happened at the Capitol, but it was important. Those objections were important because there's a lot of evidence and there's so many people that signed affidavits at risk of perjuring themselves based on voter fraud. We know that these Dominion machines are hooked to the internet and they can